I'm Tom Anderson, and this is part nine of my simulation series, Making a Linear Regulator Model. One of the great things about LT Spice is that it comes with a nice model library, and it happens to have a lot of linear regulators because LT makes those. So let's look in the power products, and an example of a nice linear regulator is the LT3012 right here. And here I can just instantiate the part. But there's an even better thing that I can do, which is I can instantiate the part and say, I want to open this macro model's test fixture. When I do that, I get a little sample circuit that I can modify or just simulate. Now this is simulating a whole one second, uh, which is a pretty long time. So we'll go ahead and simulate. And here's the output voltage and here's the input voltage. So we can see this is a five volt regulator in this wiring. This is actually an adjustable regulator and this set of resistors is used to set the output voltage. And in this case, that's five volts. I could adjust these values and get different voltages. The only downside is this voltage regulator won't work in other simulators like NG Spice. I have to come up with my own model. The good news is, is that I have a model that's very easy to build and it's based on a MOSFET. So I'm going to go back to the library and the way I, I exit from this Power Products library is I use this up one level button here because I want an NMOS transistor and I want to rotate it. And I'm going to add a capacitor at the output, make it 33 microfarads and I'll have a resistor I want my output current to be 0.25 amps, and I want a three volt regulator. In order to get 0.25, I'm going to uh, modify this value to be 12 ohm spins, and I also need an input voltage source. So there's my ground, and now I'm gonna grab another device, which is gonna be my input voltage. And my input voltage is going to be exponential click Advanced and choose the exponential uh, waveform. I want to start at zero volts and then I'm going to go to five volts. That's in effect my pulse. So I'm making a really long pulse. Uh, I'm gonna have a delay of 100 microseconds, rise time constant of 20 microseconds. I want this to be a power supply. So I will just make a really long delay here since I'll never see the fall. And I'm going to move this so it doesn't overlap. And now I'm going to add the wires using my trick. We're adding wires. And now I have my wires. And now I'm ready to simulate, except that I can't stand it when this is mispositioned. I need to add a model for this part. Uh, this is not a, uh, an off-the-shelf part. This is a kind of transistor model that you would only really find in a simulator. It doesn't have to be real. So I'm going to add a spice directive to make the model. So I'm going to say dot model. I'll call it MOS reg. And this is a VD MOS model. I had to look up this VD MOS keyword because different simulators support different models. I'm adding some series resistance to the drain and gate. I always do that because it's important. The turn on voltage is going to be the negative of the regulated voltage. And so since I want a three volt regulator, uh, my VTO is minus three. For KP, I just use a large number. In this case, I'm going to use a thousand. The larger I make that number, the more current the regulator can handle at the output. And I have to remember to change this to MOSREG because this is where the name of the model goes uh, that corresponds to this directive. The dot model statement says, I want a model called MOSREG. Its type is this, and these are its parameters. And now it's ready to simulate. And I'll simulate that, and I'll stop at two milliseconds. There's my input waveform going to five volts, and there's my output waveform. You can see it goes to three volts and it stays there. 